So I've been getting Halloween yarn because I'm really excited about Halloween. I'm ready for summer to be over. I am ready for cool weather to start. I am ready for pumpkin lattes and I am ready for Halloween yarn. Hey guys, how are you on this beautiful Wednesday? So who's ready to get ready for Halloween? I've already started and let me tell you why. Oh, by the way, these are some of my plant friends. Plant friends meet yarn friends. This is my Monstera and this is my Dracaena. This is some of my pothos that I use for ground cover in my Dracaena. I'm gonna have to show you outside my plants, but I'm gonna do it on another day. My orchids are blooming outside. Yay! I'll take a picture and post it up here. Okay, I wanna show you the yarns, the Halloween inspired yarns I have been getting. And they're from all over the place. I've already started playing with them, you know how it is. I got this bag from Joann's. Look at that. It's got the moon. It's got all the phases of the moon. It's got the phases of the moon on the handles. What is this? Like, a, is it like $1.99 or $1.29? I don't know. I had to get it. And my Meowth. <laughs> Meowth. My You're Creeping Me Out bag I got from Joann's. It's, that, it's the big one. And I did have another Halloween bag that I got, but I gave it to Emmy to put her stuff in. Emmy's my granddaughter. It's got little kitty cats on the handles. It's the same kitty cats that are on the sides. I think this bag is like $2.99 or something, but I had to get it to hold all my yarn. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna dump all my yarn out right here and throw it in as I go. I've got yarn here from Joann's, Michael's, and Walmart. I couldn't find everything I wanted at one place, so I got it all in all the places on several different days. I've kind of been collecting, you know, how we do. Number one, I got this Craft Smart Value Yarn at Michael's. I know you're thinking, what? That doesn't look Halloween-y. Just have patience. And then I got another one, so I have two. And this is the Raspberry. And these are, of course, 100% acrylic. This has 354 yards. And I don't know exactly how much this was but I think it was three something. I also got the loops and threads. I was so upset that I could not find any of the slime green at Joann's of the Big Twist because I really wanted the slime green, but you know, I was a little too late for that. Which, crazy, huh? You wanna get Halloween stuff and they're already sold out. I'm like, what? So this is a four medium weight and it is 252 yards. So, so far it's looking a bit more Halloween. I got two more skeins of that. And in just a minute, I'm gonna show you what I've been making with them so far. I have some big twist purple. This of course is from Joanne. And this is 100% acrylic. 380 yards and I've already used some of it so let's see a little more Halloweeny I was able to go into my stash and grab this yarn look at that it kind of like has an orangish glow to it isn't that pretty so this I stash dove for willow wash and it is 100% acrylic, 180 yards. Ooh, it's 100% anti-pilling -pill acrylic. <laughs> the other ones aren't anti-pilling, but that's okay. I, you know what? I'm just going to wait and show you all the yarns all together instead of picking them up each time. Another stash dive. This is Deborah Norville. 
everyday acrylic and this color is fluorescent yellow that's what this is fluorescent yellow let me tell you the colors of the other ones too lurid what is the definition of lurid it sounds kind of lurid <laughs> oh, I'm gonna look it up. It says, oh, did I? I think I already told you that one. Raspberry. So this is limeade, and this purple is grape. We've got some grape. I've already used some of this, as you can tell, but it is the same kind of yarn as this yellow yarn. It is the Premier Everyday Deborah Norvell. And this is probably neon orange. That's what I'm thinking, neon orange for this one. Had to get some black yarn because, you know, Halloween. So there's that. It is 380 yards, big twist, 100% acrylic. We love big twist. That's it for all the solid colors. I have been stocking up on some, ooh, look at that. Yep, this is Red Heart Jumbo Stripes, and I have already used some of it, as you can see by stuff sticking out of it. It is Bright Stripe, and it has, ooh, 482 yards. Ooh, look at that square on there. I might try that square. I'm Yeah, I'm pretty much going to have to try that square. But look at that. It's got all the Halloween colors that I've been showing you. Ooh! the orange, the fluorescent, yellow, green. These are the Halloween fun colors. And then this is neon stripe, like that. So see, then they're both Red Heart Super Saver, but this is Red Heart Super Jumbo Stripe, and this is just Red Heart Jumbo Stripes. Wait a minute, they're both Jumbo Stripes. Well, they're just a little different. I don't know. They've got different names, so I'm good with that. These were like $7.97 at Walmart. Let me show you all the colors if I can hold them up. I got this. Hold on. I'm gonna have to get creative here. Let's get creative. Let's let the creativity sparkle here. Okay, we might have to hold it a different way. So I'm getting all too. There, can you see it? Do you love the yarn? Do those look like Halloween colors to you? Let me know. I want to make a big Halloween granny square because I just recently got obsessed with granny squares. And I've made this one so far with a jumbo stripe. And you know, granny squares are easy because you can just pick one up, pick up your yarn, pick up your hook and go. Plain granny square. I am using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is one of the crochet hooks I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. I love these hooks and I've also been, you know, I've been switching it out. Sometimes you just like to switch it out with my Furls Streamline. Isn't that beautiful? Love these hooks. <laughs> that won't work. So I had to show this to you because, you know, it was in the bag. All right, now, this is my favorite one. Oh, look at that. Super bright. I've been obsessed with this. I looked on somebody's square. I don't even know whose square it is. I just saw a square and I was like, oh my gosh, I screenshot a picture of it and I was like, I have to try to make that. So I did, and this is what I came up with. And I'm gonna make a lot of those out of these colors. And I'm gonna kind of alternate, you know, like the spooky colors or, you know, the fun Halloween colors. That's what this is, fun Halloween colors. This is the Halloween fun blanket. If you guys want to, we can have a non-official crochet along for the Halloween fun blanket. I've started this. This is one of the jumbo stripes. This is the bigger stripes. So I've started it on this one. So, so far on my Halloween fun blanket, I've got this. Oh, look at that. Oh. And then I'm trying to decide whether I just want to keep the sides plain 
or if I want to put black around all of them. What do you guys think? What do you guys, should we get black to tie them all together? Or should we just do a crazy colorful blanket and then just put black over the whole border? So yeah, this, I've just started it. This has just been announced and thought of in my, my head that this is going to be the unofficial Halloween fun crochet along. Halloween fun. Is it fun Halloween or Halloween fun? I don't know. But anyway, purely meant to be fun. And, and you know what? I did get some of these. I did go out and buy some of these, but I am using up some yarn from my stash too. So I could, because I don't know if you guys have seen in my background of my yarn room, I have a ton of fluorescent yellow and orange yarn and I got to use it on something. So that's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. And feel free to join along with me. Oh, oh, oh. And if you want to post it in, when I and when I post my pictures, it'll be the unofficial Halloween fun crochet along. I'll make the hashtags and I'll put it down in the description below. Oh, and this one, look, this is in my bag too. So I officially have three hooks. <laughs> They're all 5.5 millimeter and all those yarns are four weights in my bag. So hooks, Four weight yarn granny square halloween fun <laughs> let's do it oh i found a pair of my scissors I, I gotta show you some more halloween yarn and stuff i also found this on clearance it's more of the big twist and it's kind of that dark gray it's called smoke so i'm also going to do some not so bright halloween things like maybe some spooky things and i thought this would be perfect for it also upstairs in my stash I don't know if you remember when this came out, the Big Twist Panoramic. It had some oranges too. So I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna create something Halloween that's gonna be fun. This is a two weight and it has 656. It's 100% premium acrylic. Okay, I'm back. My husband called. So I have Listen, this is super exciting. I have finished my Hobie Helter Skelter shawl, which I still have to name. And I'm just getting ready to press the send button because I do have the pattern written. And I am going to be seeing if I get approved for it on the Hobie website. So I am super excited about that. It's really simple. It's really simple. It's corner to corner. And isn't that beautiful? Don't you just love the drapiness of it? Let me see if I can put it on. Isn't that pretty? Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, so there it is in all of its glory. Can you see? <laughs> I am really so happy with this and I did wear black on purpose because I wanted you to see what it would look like with a black top for Halloween. Here, let me go around a little. That's what it looks like. Oh, and then I got flower pants on. Isn't that cute? Those aren't underwear. Those are actually stretchy pants. And then, you know, this side. So that's my shawl. And it can be your shawl too, if <laughs> you want to make a corner to corner shawl. Okay, so fingers crossed that Hobie puts it up on their website. This is the yarn I used. It's the Hobie Twirls Deluxe, which isn't that pretty. It's a two weight yarn. I used a three millimeter, no, 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and it was clover. It, it flew like butter. Actually, let me go back. It was flying like butter with the clover hook. And then I used the dots hook and it was even butterier. Not so fast with the furls, amazingly. 
but you know what? Burls takes pretty pictures with this yarn. And here's this, ooh, look at this, pretty, pretty. Sultan Deluxe Shine. These ones I already had on my shelves and I'm just pulling them off to show you. I didn't buy these extra. See, I'm starting Halloween early this year so I can use up some of the Halloween yarn I have on my shelves because what I usually do is like close to Halloween, I'm like, oh, this is so Halloween-y, like October 15th. And then I don't use any of the yarn because by the time I get to anything, Halloween's gone. So this year, starting early, that's the reason why. Okay, of course, this, the Rainbow Rhapsody is on my shelf. I'm doing, I'm showing you guys these things to give you some ideas because I know some of you got some of the Hobby Learn yarn, <laughs> some of the Hobby Lobby yarn on sale during the 70% off or 75% off clearance. This is one of the Rapologies Rainbow Rhapsody that they no longer make. Isn't, wait a minute, or do they make this one? I'm getting this confused with the Hobie Sugar Wheel Cotton Solids, which this, I have this sitting on my shelf for the last few years, and I thought this would be the perfect time to use this for some Halloween stuff. I, it says, be still my tart. And you know, when paired with something orange, it could be a really cute Halloween thing. So these are some other yarns that Hobie sent me, the Friends Wheel, and I've got these colors to make some Halloween stuff, and I haven't decided what I'm going to make yet. I'll show you what I'm thinking about making, so here, let's see if we can get this. Those pretty colors, look at this, I crocheted a really tiny one. This is 2.75 millimeter, same exact pattern as this is the same as this, same stitches and everything, except this is a two weight yarn and a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook. And this is four weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Fun beautiful. <laughs> this is my cotton yarn crochet bag. I've got all the cottony things in it for Halloween and I'm going to be doing a lots of Halloween inspired stuff. And this one is for my unofficial Halloween fun crochet along. <laughs> Fingers crossed on this. I'm really, doesn't it look like a sunset? I love it. <laughs> okay, you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. A super wonderful day. <laughs> and don't forget to click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you uh, haven't done so yet, so you don't miss a second of Yarny Fun. Okay, love you guys.